Welcome to the Czech Studios in downtown Vancouver. Jody Vance and Linda Steele with you. I wish the city was as clear and cl crystal clean as our opening promo is. It's so <laughs> hazy and smoky and smoggy right yeah, now. Yeah, it could be worse. It I mean, be. there have been many summers in a row where the sun was like a big red orb in the middle of the afternoon. So we're getting off lucky now. We we're are going to be talking about climate change yeah. a little bit later in the show. But you know what? Uh, now that my Oilers are out of the playoffs, deep Please sad about that. They'll get it next year. The one hockey player locally that I have always wanted to get to know, well, not get to know necessarily, but get to interview, is Trevor Linden. Yes. Like, seems like an upstanding, super nice yes. guy, talented, all, all the rest of it. And he is now doing a video that's pretty dramatic. Uh, and it's for a great cause. Watch this. Let's and I think show it's going it. to blow you it. away. Let's show it. I don't remember the hit. I remember everything leading up to it, but nothing after. He came from behind me. I didn't see it coming. I was hit in the side of the head. I remember being confused. My ears were ringing. It's hard to talk about. I still experience pain, mood swings. The headaches are debilitating. But this isn't my story. It's mine. Let that sink in, right? All right. Uh, Let that sink in for a second, though. For every one concussion in the NHL, 7,000 concussions with intimate partners. And any woman, any partner who has suffered at the hand of someone they thought loved them um, would have felt that. It just speaks to Trevor being so amazing in wanting to do this. And it doesn't surprise me either. He's I did amazing. a ton of fundraising for women's shelters in Edmonton, and you would go visit them. They have bulletproof glass. The ex-husbands are always circling the block, trying to figure out if their loved one is there. There is so much violence going on behind ones, closed doors. But even the ones that are quietly, the yeah. ones that aren't overtly, right. the people that are hiding it and shame shamed into hiding it, thinking that they need to somehow protect this person because it's often someone they love very much that all of a sudden has changed or something has happened or something feels wrong or something feels off. Mm -hmm. If it's happening to you, seek help. If it's happening to you, reach out. And in this particular PSA that Trevor Linden has done about concussions, have you ever suffered a concussion? No, thank God, but I know I have. people who have. And yeah. it was uh, so quick mm -hmm. and the impact so long and it takes sometimes your whole life from you in a way that you'll never be the same and you just need to take care of yep. yourself and protect yourself and and if you're suffering in silence please do and reach thank out. you trevor for doing that thank you, trevor. Uh, and the YWCA. lighten things up a yes. little bit because it is a national holiday yeah it is yeah. national caesar day and so our pour of the week from our friends at cascadia liquor is a no-brainer we're talking about mott's clamato in a can and jody is the caesar <laughs> whisperer and she mixed us up some I forgot the, the, the celery. Right. Well, you know what? <laughs> Pretty nice anyway. So enjoy yourself a little Canadian special. I got the original and you've got the... Uh, I've got a bean. bean and it's pretty tasty. So thank you so much, Cascadia Liquor, locally owned and operated. Coming up on the show today, we got a lot of special guests. We do. Well, last week we were talking about all the uproar, BC Housing, Atira, all of that controversy, the forensic uh, audit. audit that happened. Well, we have BC Housing Minister Ravi Callon joining us in studio, and we're going to talk about all of that and so much more because we're the eviction capital. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about Airbnbs because we talked about that with the Stratus as well. So we'll yes. talk to the housing minister. Also, as we mentioned off the top of the show, that it is shaping up to be a bad fire season. Climate change is upon us. It is it's an you emergency. Can't deny it. It is yeah. an emergency. And yet the climate trolls are out and they are going after climate scientists, meteorologists. Uh, and uh, this is becoming a big problem. They've turned their focus away from COVID denying to climate denying. And so we are going to have climate scientist and former BC Green leader Andrew Weaver on all, the show. All around wonderful yeah. guy. And mm. he will be with us to talk through why he deleted his Twitter and yeah. more and how toxic it is to be a climate scientist in Which the is crazy. 2020s. 
Yeah, it's it called is. the science. It's not fake news. It is not. Uh, we're also going to do something fun. A short time from now, we're going to have a studio full of dogs. Because a lot of people with wedding season here want to include their four-legged friends in their special day or yeah. birthday or whatever. And our friends at Bosley's have a whole bunch of ideas and ways you can include your loved one, your loved uh, four-legged friend. In We're going to get ceremony. you a dog, Linda, if it kills me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. Bosley's by Pet Value will yeah. be by with all the t tips and tricks, and even a cat. So it's not just for the crazy dog mm -hmm. lady. It's it's about your pets. Right now, though, it is time for hot headlines. And Jody, I feel so sorry for anybody who had a flight booked on WestJet today because. As we knew was going to likely happen, the WestJet pilots, they had filed strike notice, WestJet locked them out. They are grounding flights uh, across Canada today. And it is going to, who knows what's going to happen. The pilots want something like a 40% pay hike. And apparently 340 WestJet pilots have quit in the last year because they've gone, been wooed away for higher wages. It is really quite something to watch yet again yet another disruption i'm just really grateful it didn't happen when you were going to hawaii my friend uh, because me i too. mean can you imagine and my I neighbor mean, works for air canada and she told me that their pilots are going to be negotiating coming this summer so if you have something booked on air canada fingers crossed great start worrying now <laughs> uh, a little bit of good news in the form of bail reform yes finally finally uh, the justice minister was under fire all the provincial premiers said you got to do something there's been too much violence of people catch and release yeah and so so yeah, they did. Ottawa just announced uh, some new measures. Some people say they don't go far enough because they're trying to make Start sure people. that they don't disadvantage Indigenous people. For sure. Uh, BIPOC people. But the prolific general. offenders, come on, let's go. Let's mm. make this happen. Um, Baby steps. Yes. And some information as well about cancer patients going south of the border. That's causing a little politicization. And, and you and I were talking, obviously, for prior to the show. But cancer care systems in BC are buckling on staff shortages, so wait times are soaring. That is horrifying news for anybody who's been touched by this. Going south of the border, not new. This is something that's gone on for quite some time. It's just well, right now it's causing a political stir. Yeah, we have longer wait lists, and so what they are going to do is there's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 cancer patients yeah. for breast and prostate that will be going to Good. Bellingham with all of the expenses covered, and you can bring someone with you to help you navigate that. Uh, kind of scary stuff. When you're diagnosed with cancer, you want to be able to get your treatment immediately. You no don't want to wait. No. Right? And so you can argue, while well, the government should have fixed this a long time ago, but at least they've got a solution. Let's hope. In Let's the, hope in this helps some people right yeah like let's pitter patter let's get at her when it mm. comes to taking care of people and that's what the doctors at surrey memorial are saying in their open letter because they've been told to stay quiet uh during this crisis level of of overcrowding understaffing in the healthcare system this is not new we're seeing this on vancouver island as well the mm. maternity docs are, are waving the flag like there are, there are pregnant women who can't find yeah. their Part of the problem at Surrey Memorial, though, is that there aren't enough beds. And so they can't get somebody out of ER admitted into another specific ward. And there's a log jam. And it's, too, it's too much. Yeah. They don't have enough admitting doctors. So yeah. government knows that. And in fact, they did also announce, ta-da, they are going to be building a new hospital in Surrey to the tune of a couple billion dollars. And uh, it is going to be, I can't remember where, Newton, I think. Anyway, Newton, sure. Newton, yeah. for sure. Uh, I was mentioning the maternity physicians on Vancouver Island. I'm pointing over there. Mm -hmm. We're pointing through the island. I can't imagine being pregnant and not having access to my physician. I had Brady four weeks early. Shortage of maternity doctors leaving pregnant women scrambling. Pregnant women should not scramble. This just in. Please yeah, well, don't do this. And here's the other thing. There are a lot more women who are unintentionally getting pregnant right now because when the province announced that they were going to make birth control free, a lot of women went rushing in to get IUDs inserted. Now there's a huge wait list and apparently there have been some unintended uh, pregnancies as a consequence. There's that and new news on HRT. I'm going to raise my hand. I utilize oh, HRT, right? It helps. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you use it? Well, exactly. because misinformation in early days, luckily we got good advice yeah. and now it is uh, the first action that yeah. will be taken when you come in and say, I have all these really weird symptoms, what's going on? A lot of people uh, were really sad to learn about a beloved news anchor at Global, Deborah Hope, yeah. has passed. She was diagnosed with early onset dementia, died at the age of 67, so and some young. wonderful tributes this yeah. week. I, the first time I was ever on BCTV, 
uh, was with Deb. Really? And she was lovely. Yeah. She was, her laugh was infectious. Hey, can we hey, talk about Martha Stewart? I want to just do one real quick thing um, because I am the crazy dog lady. Coyotes are attacking not just kids in parks that are busy, but also pets in parks. Be mindful if you're going out. This is my dog in his coyote vest, and oh, you'll see my cute. other dog in his coyote vest. Just wanted to slip that in there real quick. Now we'll talk about Martha Stewart. Okay, Martha yes. Stewart making headlines because she is Sports Illustrated oldest ever cover girl for the swimsuit edition at the so age of gorgeous. 81. I think she looks great. A lot of women are really saying, well, yeah, look at all the plastic surgery. Who and cares? Let's just say, hey, she looks good. Uh, there is another cover model who is uh, making headlines and some their controversy. And it is a trans model uh, whose name is Kim Petras. This yes. is a German, a German singer songwriter. And people are outraged. What about Anheuser Busch? Have they learned nothing? And I'm like, come on, who cares? People need to redirect their outrage. Please it's redirect your outrage. Magazine. It's, it's not the end of the world. But I kind of love the idea of some dudes being so mad at the Sports Illustrated bathing suit issue that they're going to boycott it. Yeah. Whatever. Nutty, nutty, nutty. Mm -hmm. Okay, coming up next, we're talking all things housing with Minister Ravi Kalan from the mess at BC Housing to news that our province has been named the eviction capital of Canada.